Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. Uh, so in today's video, we're gonna be going over uh, this uh, really popular but easy niche. These are pocket animals. And so this particular design shows a little pig sticking out of a pocket. There's a bunch of different ways that you can go with this and a lot of different ways that you can do it. If you're interested in learning about this niche, please stick around. This should be a pretty quick video. Um, so hang tight. So as always, we're just gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. This is going to be a very quick video today. I just wanted to show you another really common niche that you may see that's really quick and easy to do and can be scaled out quite a bit. Um, as always, I do wanna go ahead and design for black because that is the shirt color that does sell the most. So I, I do like to, to design for black specifically. I'm gonna go ahead, click on my blank backdrop and on the top left-hand corner where it says background color, I'm gonna go ahead and select black. Um, now for today's design, we're just gonna be doing a little easy pocket design that has an animal in the pocket. And so you will see tons of these with different animals in the pockets. And I've seen them done both with photo style animals and with graphic style animals. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the photo style animals. I do like that better. And so the first thing that you need to do is just find a pocket. Now, caveat, um, you could put a solid pocket, um, but it won't match all shirt colors. If you just do an outline of a pocket to make it look like there's a pocket that'll go on all shirt colors, that's an easy way to go. You would have to make it sort of a light color if you wanna put it on a dark shirt, but if you go with white, then you cannot put it on a white shirt. So just things to keep in mind. You can always make different versions of it as well. But let's go ahead and go to the left-hand uh, side where it says elements. And we're just gonna go ahead and start with a little search for pockets. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the graphics. So here's where you can tell that there are different pocket shapes that some are solid, some are just outlined, you know, lots of different ways we can go with pockets. If I was just doing it for a black shirt, then, you know, just putting a little white outline might look good. If I wanted to do it for different colors, again, you just have to keep all of those things in mind. If I scroll down enough, you'll see there's already some pre-made pocket designs with animals. These all have a black pocket, so you wouldn't be able to see it on a black shirt. I would have to put it on a lighter color shirt in order to see these. So something like a gray shirt would look good and you could create something similar to that. And so there's a whole bunch of already made ones. If you're gonna do that, you do have to go ahead and make some alterations to the design. So you don't wanna ever use just one element exactly as is either combine elements or make alterations to the elements to make it your own. But you can see there's a lot of already sort of pre-made ones that you can use um, that are sort of interesting. Here's one where the pocket actually, you know, looks solid. So if you wanted to try to match a shirt color, you could do it that way. But all different animals, tons of animals in here that you could use, different styles. Here's even one with an Easter bunny as Easter is coming up. So lots of different ways to go about doing this. Here's one even with Santa. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of all the different things that you can do. Here's one that has a little, you know, dog and you can change all of these colors too. So I could change the pocket color. But I am gonna do something similar to this, only I'm gonna go ahead and use probably a white pocket. So if we come up to the top here, I wanted to show you how to do this. We're gonna get rid of this guy and we can pick different pocket shapes here. So lots of different pocket shapes. This one's kind of cool because it's a little bit wider. Most of these animals are gonna be a little bit wider. So having a little bit of a wider top might look good. Um, again, if I'm doing it as a pocket design for the corner, the pocket's gonna have to sit somewhere around here. So your animal is gonna be pretty small. Now, right now I have the rulers and guides up on my page. If you don't know how to do that, if you come to the top where it says file and you click there, where it says view settings, it says show rulers and guides. So if you have that clicked, you'll get your rulers and guides on the sides here. Now, the cool thing about that is I can pull some of these lines over and so I can find my center line. So that's the center of the shirt. 
and I could do the same thing if I wanted the center of the shirt this way. There it is, that's the center of the shirt. And so you're looking at, you know, creating your pocket design in this area right here. So again, it's gonna be pretty small. Um, so right now this is, you know, black. If I have this on a black shirt, I won't be able to see it. So let's go ahead and say I want the stitching to be white. So now I've got white stitching. So now if I change my shirt color back to black, I'll be able to see my stitching. Now this will work now, I can do it on any shirt I want other than white, and it will give this sort of white stitching look on any color shirt. Um, so that's probably the easiest way to go about doing this. Um, actually, caveat, I'm gonna show you one example of another way here. So just for contrast, I'm putting that there. So now we're just gonna go ahead and pick our animal. And you can pick any animal you want. Some are gonna be easier to use than others because some are already kind of done for you. So let's just say I put dog. Now some of these you might have to search for a long time to find one that works for you. Lots of different ways we can go about this. So something like just a headshot. Headshots are pretty easy. Oh, here's an even better one. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just stick with the headshot here. Headshots are pretty easy because all you have to do if you want a head popping out would be to shrink that down and you could do it like that and literally just have the head popping out. And I could always, again, take this and crop it up as tight as I wanted if I wanted it to be, you know, lower like that. And so that's one way that you could do it. Just having the head popping out is pretty easy. It's always a little bit better if you can find one where their feet are over, every, over something because if you can get their feet sort of hanging on, that usually looks a little bit better than just the head popping out. But again, lots of different ways you can go with this. Now, if we're doing it this way, obviously it has to line up perfectly with the top. If I come down, it won't you know, work well. And if I send two back, you're gonna be able to see through it. So it has to line up perfect with the top. If you did something that was more solid, like this one, it's solid. And what that means is it's a little easier to make something look like it's poking out because I can just put whatever element I want in and then just send two back and then it looks like it's popping out and this covers anything behind it. So benefits of having a solid pocket is it's gonna cover anything that, that falls behind it. If you have the see-through pocket here, it's gonna match all your shirt colors, but you have to make sure that your design lines up perfectly with the top. So just things that you wanna think about as you're you know, making your selections. And of course, if you've got multiple upload spots, you can do this a lot of different ways and you can put up a lot of different um, designs. So you can put up different pockets, different dogs, different animals or whatever you want. Now, sometimes as you're scrolling through here, you will find ones that work perfectly for this. So there are some where the dog's feet are already hanging over something like that. So here's a good example. He looks like he's already hanging out of something. So all we would have to do for this design, if I wanted to use him, would be to do a background removal and you might have to use you know, some of your cutout features and do some of this manually if it doesn't get rid of the box. But then you put this guy right here and it is gonna look like he's coming out the pocket. So let me show you. Let's go ahead, edit this image. I'm gonna do a little background removal and it'll probably keep the wood. I'm probably gonna have to manually um, erase some of that and that's fine. That might just take you a little bit of time, but it's not necessarily hard to do. Oh no, that actually worked perfect. Wow, lucked out on that one. I thought I was gonna have to totally manually do it. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let me get rid of these and I'm just gonna show you this. It's gonna be real easy once I'm sure I've got him all saved. Oh yeah, he's good, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink this dude down and we will just put him sort of right over the top, just like that. And now he looks like he's sort of coming out of the pocket. And so that is an easy way to do a pocket animal design using a photo. And so tons of ways, you might have to do background removal, you might have to erase part of the photo, but if you find the right photo, it can look really cool like that. Um, otherwise a head sticking out, yeah, you can do that too. It's not quite as exciting, but 
you know, you just have to do a lot of scrolling to sort of find what works best. And so there was that one. And I don't know why I'm kind of losing my photos here, but you can scroll through, see if there's anything else that's cool worth doing. I'm sure there's a ton. It would just take, you know, looking for a while. And, you know, don't just stick with dogs. You can do this with all sorts of different animals, as you saw before. So let's say I wanted to do a pig, because I know there were some pig ones that looked cute, too. So here's a pig, and same idea. The pig is sort of hanging on over the top of this, and there's a few different ones. So let's say I take this pig, and I do the same thing. This one I did do the other day, and I did have to manually remove the background on it. So let's see. Yeah, so it's not getting rid of this. Now that's not a problem because if I was to come to erase and click that erase tool, now I can go ahead and manually erase this. Now I'm just gonna do a really fast job right here because I just wanna show you guys the technique. But obviously you would wanna be a little bit more careful in doing this. Make sure that you, you know, get a nice clean edge and all of that. But you know, just to sort of show you guys the technique really quick. You just sort of do that. And of course I can play with the brush size here too. And I can zoom in so that I can get nice and close and just sort of make sure that I've got as clean of lines as possible there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to look pretty good. Somewhat smooth. And again, I'm not exactly doing a super good job right now. I'm just kind of trying to get it pretty close, pretty quick so that you can get the idea. Obviously, if you were doing this, you would want to take your time and really make sure that you get the corners and the edges nice and sharp. But you get the eye. Uh, here you just have to manually erase what you don't want and you can do this on any photo by using that background removal tool and so it's pretty easy to do it just may take a little time if it's more detailed but something like that there we go good enough let's just go with that so you can see it's so all hit done and apply and I'll give it one second I'm gonna bring this down and so there is my pig. So let's say I wanted to get rid of the doggy for a second. I shrink my piggy down and I can put my piggy in my pocket. So again, he's gonna be pretty little. If you're having trouble ever lining things up with the mouse, you can always use the keys on your keyboard. So if I use the key, the arrow keys to push down, I'm just pushing the little down arrow. It'll move it one pixel at a time. And so I can get it pretty darn close that way, moving it just one pixel at a time. And so here's my little piggy who is now sticking out of my pocket. And so that's, again, a really easy way to go ahead and make your own pocket style design. And you can be as creative as you want with animals. And it doesn't even have to be animals. I mean, you could put an alien head. You could put Santa, as I saw earlier, you know, anything you, that you could possibly think of sticking out of a pocket. I mean, and it could be something like glasses sticking out of a pocket. I mean, it could be, it could be, I mean, you name it, you could put anything coming out of a pocket and stick it on a shirt and there would be somebody who would probably buy it. So animals are just really cute to do the little pocket animals. But again, be as creative as you want. Anything sticking out of a pocket is a cute design. And so I just wanted to touch on that. Again, very quick video, very easy to do. If you have any um, questions about this particular niche or how to go ahead and do this, drop it in the comment section below. If there are any other videos that you'd like to see, niches that you'd like to see covered or techniques that you'd like to see covered, again, drop them in the comment section below. I do have a list going, but I'll try to get to it if I can as quickly as possible. I hope you guys are doing very well on your sales. If you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out as a growing channel. And, you know, good luck with your, I think we're still on quarter one, quarter one sales. Take care. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.